The Finch project is about trying to reduce the number of people who have falls in residential homes and care homes across the UK. Um, we're looking at helping the care home, working with care home staff to um, understand why people fall over and what things people could do in care homes to try and stop them falling over. We've made an intervention called the Guide to Action Tool which is uh, purposely made for care home staff to use. And the care home staff are going to work with the NHS to learn how to use it and then they're going to um, use it in their care homes with every single resident in their care homes. And in it, it's got things like making sure people have the right slippers on, the right glasses on, making sure that the floors are, um, are not covered in water so people might fall over, looking at people's medication, making sure people get exercise or do activities so that their muscles are stronger. And then uh, we're going to collect information from the care homes and from the residents about how many falls people have. In care homes, lots of people um, are frailer, they've fallen before, and if, once you've fallen, you're more likely to fall again. And a fall can lead to people fracturing their hips, fracturing their arms, getting horrible bruises on them, um, cutting their skin, ending up in hospital, being in terrible pain and being very, very frightened of, of moving around. Um, it's awful for the residents, it's awful for the staff caring for the residents, it's horrible for families coming in to visit. And then if people end up in hospital, it, it's not nice to be in hospital and all the associated costs that for the NHS that go with someone being in hospital. So any time we can prevent a fall, um, which might prevent a fracture, is, is obviously a, a bonus for everybody. I think staff um, need to know about falls and how they can at least minimise, not particularly prevent them, but minimise um, people having falls. I think it's very important that staff are aware of what to do and what not to do in a in that sort of situation. You can't stop people walking around. You can't fence them in or keep them sat down just because they're at risk of falling. You've got to allow people to just to be able to walk around just like they would normally do at home. It creates independence and the fact that people still feel that they're worth something even though they're living in a nursing home. The person is an individual and that they have got, you know, for their quality of life, they do need to continue walking if they're able to, and we will minimise the falls as much as possible um, by ensuring that they're wearing proper footwear, that the air areas are clear, that there's no obvious trip hazards, um, but sometimes people do just fall and it's a risk. You've got to weigh up the risk of falling um, compared to the quality of life. Is the quality of life more enhanced by somebody walking around?